area of a trapezoid by taking 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. The height is not the side length, but a line that is perpendicular to the base. This is important. Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today I'm going to show you how to find the area of a trapezoid. And before we do that, I want to show you where this formula comes from. Because if you understand the formula, you'll understand how to solve it. So what I've done is I've drawn in here a trapezoid. And a trapezoid has two parallel bases. So this top base and this bottom base are parallel to each other. Then you have a little triangle. If I drop from the top vertex straight down in altitude, that forms a right angle, I've got a triangle over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that triangle and I'm going to rotate it all the way around the figure and I'm going to place it over here. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off, so I'm cutting off this pink triangle over here, and I'm going to rotate it over to this other side. And what's going to happen, it's going to create a rectangle. Now. This rectangle has, so this, ro this pink triangle has now rotated to here and it's a right angle over here now. Okay, so now what we're working with is this new rectangle. Okay, and so we've taken our trapezoid and redrawn it as a rectangle. Notice this base is not the same length as the original base. And this top base is not the same length as the original base it's all the way out to here, so it's actually the average of the two bases put together. So I'm going to erase this since we've rotated it around. Now what we've created is a figure with the same area. Now the height is actually this height here, and the bases are now equal to each other, and they actually are equal to what we call the mid-segment, which is this distance from here to here, which is this new rectangular base. So all we're going to do is multiply the base times the height to get the area. But these two bases added together and divided by two or multiplied by half averages the bases, and that's where the formula comes from, the mid-segment times the height. Okay, let's put some numbers in here to make this work so you can see exactly what's happening with the formula, but that's where it comes from. Okay. Let's say that our height is 10, and our two bases are 12 and 16. So this original base is 16. What we're going to do is plug in 12 and 16 for B1 and B2. So let's plug that in, 12 and 16. And we're going to add those two together. We're going to multiply it times the height, which is 10, and then take half of that product. So 10 times what? Well, 12 plus 16, that's 28. So 10 times 28 is 280. Then we have to take half of 280. So we get 140 as our area. And that's the area of the trapezoid. Now notice this distance from here to here, that mid-segment, is actually 14. So if you wanted to average 12 and 16 together, you would get a mid-segment of 14 and almost treat it like a rectangle. Okay, let's try another one. But this time I'm going to give you some different information. I'm going to give you the length of the two bases, then I'm going to give you the length of the leg. Now, you're going to think, well, I'm just going to plug in 4 for my height, but you can't because this is not the altitude drawn straight down. We need to figure that out. So let me show you how you'd figure that out. You've got a 60 degree angle here. So when you drop this altitude down, you have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So when I drop the altitude down, I can find this distance by taking half of the hypotenuse, because in 30, 60, 90, that's the rule. Take half of the hypotenuse to find the short leg, and that's 2, and multiply it times the square root of 3 to find the long leg which is also the height of our trapezoid. Now we can use our formula. One half, our height we just figured out, was two square root three times our bases added together, so the sum of the bases. Okay, so the sum of the bases is 14 times two square root three, and you're gonna multiply that product by a half, 
So 2 times 14 is 28, square root 3, all multiplied by half. Half of 28 is 14, square root 3 units squared. And that is how you would find the area of the trapezoid. Hope this video was helpful.